Kentucky. It is known for what? Let's think about that together. It's known for... You probably said things like basketball, bourbon, horse racing, bluegrass music. Kentucky's got its own genre of music, y'all. But you know what Kentucky's also known for? Music festivals. Now I'm telling you all, if you want to have a great vacation and relax and not spend a lot of money, music festivals are the way to go. We'll get back to that more later. But this is Trash Bass, which is located at the Rock Castle Riverside. And it was one of my favorite, if not my most favorite, music festival that I went to in 2019. Let's get into Trash Bash 2019. Howdy folks, Kentucky John here, heading down to Livingston, Kentucky for Trash Bash 2019. Now keep in mind y'all, I'm kind of pioneering for you. I've never been to Livingston, Kentucky. All I knew is out in the boonies and I was going in for a solo mission. I'm running a little bit late, it's Thursday. Um, I've already missed a couple bands, but Laidback Country Picker is coming on at 11. So stoked. Um, one of the things I think is gonna make this very special is that it's all up in the Daniel Boone National Forest. So it's gonna be beautiful nature all around with excellent music and lovely people. I dropped 60 bucks on a ticket. And I knew it was down in the boonies and there was no Walmart. So I loaded up my car with all the survival gear that I needed. And I was going to be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and leave Sunday. And hear like 10 plus bands rock and roll out in the woods. I happen to be a man that wears many hats. And I totally have a festive hat that I'm going to be debuting this weekend. Oh yeah. I'm all about holidays, and now I got my holiday hat on. It's time to get back on the road, y'all. Trash bass. I pulled up there. It was dark. I just parked, grabbed two or three beers, and I went to the stage. So I did park, um, but before that, the staff there is very hospitable. But I did not expect, first off, check out this dog right here. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I did not expect to hear any reggae music at all. Um, I never heard of this band. But I was so surprised because I'm a fan. This next band uh, is Laid Back Country Picker, which I just want to do a special shout out to them. They are incredible. You have to go see their show live. It's, it, it's a truly a treat. Um, he even gets on the phone. He has his phone. He plugs it to the speaker system. He gets on the phone. He starts to talk him. Check this out. This was 4th of July. Um, my phone died and I missed the firework show. There was a firework show. I was totally surprised by that. But I did get this uh, lady right here to, uh, you know, shake around the sparkler. And I think the Cotton Eye Joe is playing in the background. But I had to take that down. But this is Rocky Mountain Boys. Um, they actually played three nights, all three nights. And the last night was an electric set. These fellers, I've seen them go on stage like at 1.30 at night and play till the break of dawn. Incredible. Uh, they, I don't, even know, I don't know if they're human. They may be aliens that are just really bored. I don't know. They seem like they love what they're doing, for sure. Just listen to these guys.
just a whole weekend. It felt like an entire weekend that one night. And then I wake up and listen to that. Who doesn't love the sound of a warm fire? That will get her going. That diesel will sit there and sizzle and sizzle. Like Is that cedar? And the bonus of Trash Bash is that there's a beach. There's a beach here. I loved it. I mean, it's just a great escape from the city. You know, nature, look at these butterflies. Like, there's nature around. Listen to all the sounds. It's just so good. And I'll get back to this later, but $20, you can get a canoe and canoe around there. They'll shuttle you and everything. I mean, listen to the background as my buddy builds. Chris, shout out to my buddy Chris there. He's building this rock sculpture. We're just hanging out, cooling in the water, because it is hot out there, but listen to the bands in the background. That's how close you are to the stage. That's what makes Trash Bass so great, is that you're checking out all these different genres of music, and you're getting to relax. While we were down at the beach, we ran into Fred Birch uh, from a band called Metric Soul that played at Trash Bash 2019. We asked him from a band's perspective, why play at Trash Bash? Trash Bash is good to play because, first of all, a lot of the proceeds go to cleaning up the riverside, which is the main thing. That's the most important thing. So it's good that people come here together and will spend money to buy food and support the vendors, support the bands, and that's that's literally the best thing. Other than that, I just love playing. <laughs> I mean, it's there's nothing like being on stage, and what better stage than out in the middle of nowhere where you can rock out, be as loud and as crazy as you want. Way cool that you can spend money having fun and also help the environment. But the next bunch of clips, I feel like I need to explain a little bit. You'll see a band that's handshake deals. Uh, they end up becoming one of my favorite bands. I saw them throughout the entire summer of 2019. They're amazing, bodacious. But also, you're going to see an artist. He was doing art throughout the entire festival. I even bought one of these buttons that allowed me behind the scene access, kind of, uh, to this art where I can help contribute to it. You gotta have one of the buttons. I actually lost my button, but I have a sticker on my guitar. So hopefully that'll get me in still. I suppose the biggest thing that pushes me to do what I do is... If you're going to hear about some dude exploring his religion in the most intimate sense he can publicly get away with, um, that's something different, that's uncomfortable, that's scary. That's you know? beautiful. Uh, but that's what's necessary. I still drink my beer with my mouth.
Now this fire crew was just getting started. I just want to say that. Next day, some beautiful art. So let's go ahead and talk about the three reasons why you should go to Trash Bash. First reason is that you get to help and experience nature. It's beautiful out there, you all. And for 20 bucks, you can get you a boat. And imagine taking selfies on a boat. Everyone's having fun out there. Look at this dog. It's relaxing. You get to camp. It's more, it's more like glamping. It's a new word I came into. Glamping. Uh, out there. Number two, the music sounds great. This stage is like a big box. Someone engineered this stage. Great. Um, it's big box. There's a door in the back of the stage where the musicians go in and out. But this box just makes the bass thump. Like you will feel the bass thumping, which is great. I mean. Musicians love to play there, I think, for that reason. One of the reasons. Um, number three, you get a chance to kick back, relax, and check out some new music. Um, you may not hear your favorite band, but you won't hear a bad band. That's a fact. I mean, I discovered a lot of new favorite bands during my festival experience in 2019 that I will hang on to forever. But this is Restless Leg String Band, one of my favorites. I was throwing Frisbee, listening to them. Uh, I kicked back and relaxed, listening to them. I had a great time listening to them. As always, check them out, y'all. someone out there having as much fun as you that weekend but there's no one out there having more fun than you that's how I feel about trash bash you want to bring something comfy to sit in you want to bring all your camping gear and you want to have a fun time and you will if you can just learn to relax uh, the vendors are delicious if you don't want to just rely on camping foods the whole time you got warm foods prepared for you every day right there for your convenience um, thank you for watching Trash Bash 2019 Festival Review. Stay tuned to more Festival Reviews, Bodacious Festival Reviews for you. Thank you for your time.